What's up guys, George Antolin here and today I'll share with you my What's in my camera bag 2021 edition. I'm a Filipino freelance filmmaker based in Hong Kong and I do e-com videos, highlight reels, music videos, interviews, and many more. So, gaya nga nasabi ko, i-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung pinapak ko for a particular shoot. And dahil sa shoot na to, hindi ko kakailanganin ang audio dahil this is an e-commerce video. Kung hindi nyo alam ng e-commerce video, ito ay ang mga video na nilalagay sa websites, selling platforms, gaya ng Lazada, Shopee, or Taobao, Tmall, Amazon, eBay, yung mga ganong bagay. So, yun ang isushoot ko for a clothing brand soon. Kaya nga na, ngayon, isishare ko sa inyo kung ano ba ang dadaling ko gamit. So, first off is ang aking bag. I have this Think Tank Airport Takeoff V2 for a couple of years now. Siguro mga almost 4 years ko na siyang gamit. And I really love this bag for a specific reason. Um, this is a trolley bag. Yan. So, stroller siya. Pwede ko siyang hilahin. Actually, pwede mo rin siyang gawing backpack. And then, sobrang laki ng compartment nito. Yes! Marami ka malalagay na gamit sa loob. And then, pwede mo lagay yung iPad also and laptop here. And what's good about this is that this size fits the overhead cabin ng airplanes. Let's go dun sa cream of the crop which is ang aking body and camera body which is the Sony A7S Mark III. Yan! I currently switch for, from the Canon 5D Mark IV to the Sony A7S III. And what I can only say is that I really love this camera. For the features, the functions, the reliability of this camera is really, really good. It really blew my mind the first time I used this and it was really, really amazing. 4K 120fps without any overheating issues. 10-bit 4.2.2 and all of those things, sobrang dami. I will not go into details about this but yes, this is my workhorse now for all of my videos. Now, I'm currently shooting on my ZV-1, Sony ZV-1. That's my vlogging camera and but usually for YouTube, I will also use this but since I will pack this, then I'll be shooting with the ZV-1. Now, let's go to lenses. So, my first lens that I have for the Sony A7S 3 is this one. The Sigma 24-70 art lens. The 24-70 actually is the versatile or overall good focal length. No? And for the price of the Sigma, this is really, really a good buy. I think about half the price than the Sony. So, yun. Uh, sobrang ganda rin ang Sigma na to. Uh, the sharpness and the quality of the images coming out from this lens is really, really good. Next is my Sony 20mm f1.8. This is the widest angled lens that I have now. Dahil wala pa akong wider than 20mm. Pero I'm planning to get the Tamron 17-28mm. to 28 millimeters. So, for the price then, kasi, the Tamron is really, really good. 17 to 28, I think it's enough. Then, I have the 2.8. So, probably, that's a good one. And I, for the telephoto portrait lenses, then, I have this Viltrox. This is the Viltrox F1.8, 85 millimeters. At, syempre, hindi mawawala ang extra battery. So, I have a total of 3 batteries na FC100 batteries, I suggest to get the original ones dahil if you don't get the original ones, the performance of the battery will easily depreciate or will not be as reliable than the original ones. Also, one quick tip is I put labels on all of my batteries para lang alam ko kung kailan ko siya binili and yung cycles niya most likely ma calculate ko or ma estimate ko. And syempre, don't forget about the chargers. Next important thing, syempre, this is actually my carrying case for all of my 
SD cards. Ayan. Or I have a tutorial about SD cards. So, hindi, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, I will link down below or here para alam nyo kung ano ba ang bibili nyong SD card for a particular shoot. Personally, I use this type of SD card. This is the ProGrade SD card. V90 SD card. This is the fastest SD card out there rated at V90. Before, I use SanDisk but they don't have V90 cards which you need to have V90 at least for the A7S 3 para full function yung makukuha mo dun sa camera na to. Para sa mga hindi pa nakakalam, ito ang tawag dito ay Color Checker. So this is the x right Video Passport Color Checker. The good thing about this one is you have first the white balance card para maset mo yung white balance mo accurately and then you have a focus pero if you have focus peaking naman sa camera mo you don't need this and then you have this three layer of um, basically this is your highlights your midtones and your darks or shadows and then you also have the color palette on the other side this is really an important tool especially kung you are going for a professional grade na ng mga shoots and studio locations. Dahil sa studio, you are in control of the environment, you are in control of the lights. So, basically, you are letting the lights and your camera talk to each other by way of just checking with your color checker. You can set your exposure, you can set your white balance by just using this simple tool. I always bring in this wind pump just to remove some dust sa lens when I'm changing or when I'm cleaning just to make sure and also one of my always must have sa filmmaking is a good cage. So this is the cage of the Sony A7S 3 Bakit kailangan ko to so that I can mount so many things. Um, dahil may cone shoe siya and pwede mo siya lagyan ng top rail, pwede mo siya lagyan ng side rail. So nagiging ergonomically better yung iyong camera. And, pwede mo siyang i-mount sideways or vertical. And, to go with that, I also bring in some tools from small rig as well. Nagdadala ko ng ganitong tools para ko kailangan ko mag-adjust. Meron ako. One thing is, I also bring in power bank just in case if I need it. And I also bring in my old GoPro. The reason why I bring my old GoPro is just to have BTS time lapse of my shoot. I like it to have um, documentation or like remembrance doon sa shoot ko by means of having behind the scenes na images. Kahit hindi na video, okay na sa akin yan. Also, I... Um, uh, bringing my 16 inch 2019 MacBook Pro. So, this is almost specced out. So, this is my workhorse also for editing videos. I edit on Final Cut Pro. So, I bring my laptop. So, then I also bring my card readers. Para in between shoots, I like it to transfer files to have a safety uh, backup. Um, what's good about also for the Sony A7S 3 is that you can record simultaneously to both SD cards. So, aside from that backup, I also have backups on my laptop. So, aside from all of those, I also have a backup dito sa aking SanDisk na Extreme Portable SSD 1TB. So, I make sure that by the end of the day, by the end of the shoot, I have at least two or three backups. So, I have one from the SD card. The Basically, the source, main SD, the backup SD card, the one in the computer, and the one in the SSD. So, technically, four copies of the shoot. Dahil once you are paid for any job, any freelance or any video filmmaking job, importante ang footages mo, importante ang film mo, importante yung mga na-capture mo for that day. If you can, as much as possible, back up everything, then that's the good way to go. I have my Apple charger para sa aking MacBook. And I also bring in notebook and pen for anything that I need to chat down para lang sure na hindi ko siya makakalimutan. Sometimes I also bring iPad for teleprompter and for any if we need on-screen na may pakita dun sa model. I also have this microfiber cloth 
to clean up the lenses kasi as much as possible if you can take good care of your gears then it will serve you better in the long run. Gaya nung nag-switch ako from Canon to Sony, nabenta ko pa yung mga gamit ko for at least more than 80% of their prices dahil they're well taken care of. And also, mas magiging quality yung output mo dahil, for example, for lenses mo, kung magkaroon ng start yan ng molds or dust, then it will reflect your image and it will ruin the overall um, performance and also the quality of your images. And syempre, wala lang dito, pero I also bring in my tripod. So, I use Manfrotto for tripod and also the fluid video head. I also use this Manfrotto quick release system so that it's easy to remove the things or the remove the camera from that tripod. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, marami ahong pinakita sa inyo for my shoot this um, coming few days sa isang clothing brand dito sa Hong Kong. So that's pretty much it for today. Kung meron kayong questions about gears and kung anong particular na um, recommendation ko, just leave a comment down below and malay mo, next ko yung masagot sa inyong questions. So, that's pretty much it for today. My name is Josh Antolin and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!